Kaylee's found um, the dress that she wants. It's only 600 quid, Deb. What? It's only what? got 600 pounds. No, that's not but good that's enough. that's not even going to get us a wedding good dress. Enough, Anthony. Yeah. They need to get the money. God, I feel such a bitch. You, get me on the phone and I'll tell him what a bitch is. Simon's now organised his home bird, the biggest, boldest, Vegas wedding he can think of. Time for the icing on the cake. Anything I can help you with or show you something today? A lot, actually. Yes. Yeah. Any idea what colours or styles you might be interested in at this point? No. There's some things that we can put you in that, okay. that would be appropriate. Uh, of course, this is Vegas, so anything yeah. goes. And I don't know if you, you know, want to get wild and yeah. crazy or not. No, I'm sure they're after something understated. And where's the ceremony going to be? Um, at the Venetian. At the Venetian, OK. Would you like to come? We've only got eight people. We need to... We well, need at people. that time during the day, I'll be working, but otherwise I'd love to come. <laughs> <laughs> we need oh. bodies. If you know anyone, tell them to. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you might end up with a whole We're crew there. We're charging to So Simon does know Kaylee wants a big wedding. That must be why he's inviting total strangers, then. Ladies and gentlemen, Las Vegas proudly welcomes the comedy wedding duo. <laughs> Let's see how this all <laughs> I feel like a clown. <laughs> you look like a clown. I wish I could do tricks. <laughs> I could do a trick. You look great, actually. <laughs> I do like it, actually. <laughs> what do you think to me? <laughs> I think you should wear that. Yeah. I think Kaylee would be really pleased. You'd love that, wouldn't you? You'd love that. I love it. We could put you in a white also and do something just to make it I prefer him in the blue. In the blue, we could do a blue bow tie, both in white. The heat's clearly got to Simon. He now thinks his suit should match his best man's. A pair of white tuxedos would be the perfect side dish to Kaylee's ivory dress with Ruffles look. Actually, that's not too bad. What do you think? Do you like this? I like the blue. Do you? Yeah. I like that. I don't think I would have ever decided to wear white in an English wedding. And I think, for a caution to the wind, I think we look great. It's the day before the big surprise, and Kaylee is about to see her wedding dress for the very first time. Simon has shipped the frock, roses and all, to a wedding dress shop in Leicester. Kaylee wanted a white princess dress with lots of sparkle. That's not what Simon's bought her. It's a really bad choice. It's not even a safe choice. It's, it's purely bad. It's just a joke. I just don't like it. It's ruffles, it's roses, it makes me feel frumpy, old. If I was in your position, I wouldn't wear it. I'm not wearing it. I'm not wearing it on my wedding day, no. Is it possible for us to exchange it for another one, or...? We can't exchange it for another one, unfortunately, because it's paid for. The girls try a different strategy. Kaylee's sister Sam puts in an emergency call to the groom. <laughs> 5,000 miles away, it's early morning, and Simon's sleeping like a baby. Not for long. We're just at the dress shop. Uh, Kaylee's tried on her dress. She doesn't like it. Oh. She doesn't the ruffles, it doesn't fit her, she doesn't like the roses. The only other option is Simon to buy another one. I don't know if there's any money left in the budget to buy another dress. If there's no money in the budget, he's going to have to find it from somewhere, cut back on something. We'll give you a call back. Oh, I don't believe it. He's not sure whether there's any money left in the budget. Well, they need to make some money. That's what I said, and he said he's going to ring us back. We've got $1,811.65 left. And we've still got to get a cake, bridesmaid's dress, licence, makeup, cars, champagne. If you just say, look, we can afford to give you sort of six, seven hundred pounds. 
Simon. What have you done? <laughs> <coughs> the bride has finally found a frock she fancies. So you better ring him and ask him to bring his chapbook. <laughs> We're looking at a grand total is one five six four. Mm, thank you. Yeah. One thousand five hundred and sixty-four. It's a small price to play for how you feel. If he wants to live with me after this wedding, how we are. Kaylee's found um, the dress that she wants. It's only 600 quid, Deb. What? It's only what? got 600 pounds. No, that's not good that's enough. That's not even going to get us a wedding good dress. That's not good enough, Anthony. Yeah. They need to get the money. God, I feel such a bitch. You, get me on the phone and I'll tell him what a bitch is. <sighs> what is his problem now? They haven't physically he got any got money, money left. He's, He's got, got a car. He said they're cutting back to get the 600 pound. Well, they'll have to cut back more or get the card. Or take their suits I'm not, back. Yeah, I'm not wearing that. End of. Kaylee has put her foot down. Simon's going to have to dig deep to find the cash. Just simply haven't got it. No, you haven't. If I emptied out the bank account, the rent wouldn't be paid. I can't just magic money out of nowhere. No, you can't. Tell her I can give her 800 pound. I put four hundred pound out of my own money. Right. Simon said he could get eight hundred pounds. It's still not enough, though. We can only go up to eight hundred pounds. It's not good enough. If they can get the money, I will give it back to them. If anybody can get the money and pay for it, Simon. Okay, then. Well, we'll see if we can do that. Even with four hundred quid out of his pocket. And the same again from the budget. The girls still have to fork out the remaining £764 themselves. Bye. The budget has just been absolutely decimated. I just hope the next time I see her, she looks at me and smiles.